Okay, let's see if we can really blow your mind about what you think you know about magnetism. You know, I've always been told that opposites attract. Well, that's BS. We get that notion from supposed south poles attracting north poles and vice versa. So here we have our spherical magnets, okay? I got one pole marked in yellow, the other marked in red. The dielectric inertial plane separating either quote-unquote pole marked in white. So, as I bring it close, closer, you can see that our huge, dangerous, giant magnet is only attracted to the red side marked spherical magnet, which is an N38 Gauss. This is an N48, 6 inch by 2 inch neodymium iron boron. Really powerful sucker. Quite expensive. So, since it's only attracted to the red side marked, doesn't matter which side of the field it is, that means it should be absolutely impossible to stick this magnet to this huge magnet on the yellow side, correct? Let's see. Before we do that, let's, let's watch. Let me turn the like-on-like -like pole there and see, watch it flip instantly. Oop! Didn't see that? Okay, here we go. Boop! Immediately to the yellow. Let's see again, in case you just think I'm tricking you. Let's look again. Now, the large magnet is attracted to the red side. Let me just let go of it and boop! There we go. So, it should be impossible to put this yellow side on the face of the magnet. The huge magnet. Let's see. Hmm, no resistance, no resistance. Oh, look at that. We've got attraction. Look, the red side is pointing up. What the hell happened? That shouldn't be possible. Why, is this a trick magnet? Why, no, look. Here's our magnetic viewing film. It's a regular magnet with max velocity. This actually doesn't show fields, by the way. The quote-unquote magnetic viewing film actually shows velocities. It shows centripetal and centrifugal velocities and also shows the dielectric inertial plane. So, let's take a look at another magnet viewer, see if I'm tr trying to trick you. Hmm, nope, look, our magnet viewer shows the same pole everywhere on the side of this huge 6 inch by 2 inch magnet. You see that? No trickery involved here. Let's remove the magnet as proof and use our field demonstrator. Is there a different field in the center? Nope, not according to this. Let's take a look. Nope. Nope, look, it's all the same. So, what's so special about a giant beast magnet like this? Everyone